Welcome everybody. My name is Sabrina Mills and I'm here to talk to you about the Contemporary Issues Task. The Contemporary Issues Task takes place within the subject of social education. The task takes place in session three of sixth year. The task requires the student to investigate into a contemporary issue of social significance in the local, national or global community and to take an appropriate action relating to this issue. Here are some examples of some topics that students have chosen before for their task. I'm not sure, so sure how clear it is there behind me, but just to call out some of the topics that have been popular. Um, something like alcohol addiction or drug addiction or gambling addiction, child labour, refugees, road safety, mental health awareness, suicide awareness, eating disorders, racism, human rights, issues in the third world, issues around crime and punishment, um, any issues um, to do with pollution, uh, water pollution, plastic pollution, um, issues around saving the environment, um, lots and lots of different issues. I suppose the most important thing is that students pick an issue that they're interested in, that they're invested in. Um, that's really, really important and an issue that they're passionate about. Some of the actions that students have taken um, in relation to the issues that they've chosen are things like organising events like cake sales, coffee mornings and so on to raise money to help with a charity that works in the area of their issue. Um, inviting in a guest speaker to talk about the work of an organisation or to talk about the issue in more detail with a class group. Writing letters to newspapers, politicians and so on to raise awareness um, and to ask for change in relation, in relation to their issue. Um, Organising a petition or a, a poetry competition to raise awareness. Um, a poster campaign or creating a display um, for somewhere central in the school. Going in and teaching a class about the contemporary issue and creating worksheets and so on to go along with that class. Um, lots and lots of different examples of actions that they can take there. It's really important that the action that they choose is an action that they can carry through with, that's achievable, that they've thought about their target audience um, and they've thought about what they want to achieve with the action. Some um, just really important task criteria that we need to be aware of. As I said already, this task is completed during session three. So students would start this task in September of sixth year and they would work on this task up until Christmas of sixth year and they would type up their task report. It may run into a January. I really do believe it's a good idea to, to get it completed around the Christmas mark and then somebody will come in to interview them from the Department of Education and to ask them about their task in February. This task is worth 10 credits, as are other tasks, so it's a very important task. This task can be an individual task, a task that the students do on their own, or this task can be done in a group. It's really important if the students do decide to do it as a group, that again, they're all invested in the topic that has been chosen, and that each person within the group has a specific job that they can talk about when it comes to their interview. It's really, really important that the students aren't saying that they all did everything, that they have a specific thing that they were in charge of. Even if they do the task as a group, it's really important that they produce individual reports. That is a requirement, that each student has their own report that the um, interviewer will read before they come in for their interview. This task will take around 10 hours work to complete. As I've said already, the assessment of this task will be the contents of what's in the task report will be read by the examiner that comes from the department and the students will be required to do an, um, a presentation during their interview um, for anything between two and four minutes. It's really, really important that they are prepared for this presentation. They need to talk um, you know, without stopping, if at all possible, for over two minutes up to four minutes about their topic. So they need to be prepared. And if they're going to bring some cue cards in with them, 
if they're going to bring, you know, a PowerPoint in with them, that they're also mindful of their eye contact, their body language and all of those other important things that, you know, the examiner will be marking them on when they're making a presentation. It is very, very important that students are aware of this and it's not something that's landed on them when they get into the interview. Starting the task. When starting the task, it's a really good idea to just brainstorm ideas. OK, to ask your students to think about, you know, what are the issues that are, are of concern to them as young people in today's world? Discuss the students' interests. Quite often in the areas that they're interested in, you know, that their hobbies are in and so on, there may be issues that can um, be seen within those um, areas. Class discussion on, you know, what is happening in the world today. Break these down into different groups. What's happening in the world today that's concerning teenagers? What's happening in the world today that's concerning our parents? What's happening in the world today that's concerning the elderly? To break down the different areas of concern into the different groupings of people that they are affecting. Really good idea to um, look at newspapers, to have a look at different newspapers to see what's in the news at the moment. What are the issues of concern you know, locally in local newspapers, nationally in national newspapers, and even to look at some news from around the world as well. Of course, they can watch the news and they can have a look at, um, you know, uh, different news stations from around the world as well. Do a questionnaire or survey to find interests and concerns of a particular year group. They might like to survey a particular year group, maybe first years, transition years or sixth years, to ask them about what are the things that are concerning them at the moment. Make a list. When you've gone through all of these different brainstorming and discussions and looking at the newspapers, ask the students to make a list of the areas that stood out for them that they were interested in. And a really good exercise is to ask them to rank those ideas as well. Um, you know, what would be their number one preference, their number one interest? As I said already, it's really, really important that the students are interested in what they choose to do their contemporary issues task on. Um, the layout of the task report would be something along these lines here. So they'd have a cover page with their name and their exam number and the name of the topic and the tasks that they have chosen. Students like to do a little bit of work on the cover page with a picture or an image to go along with their issue. Um, and, you know, the layout and the presentation and everything is very important. Table of contents so that the examiner can find what they're looking for in the task. Page numbers and so on like that as well really helps. When we are doing our research, I think it's really important that students have key questions around their issue that they want to have answered. That they identify those key questions early on and they can even, you know, lay those out in their task report so that the examiner can see what were the key areas they wanted to investigate and research. What are their aims for the task? Their aims should be very clear. They should state what it is they hope to gain from the task as in knowledge, information, understanding, and what they hope to achieve with their action. So their aims will include aims around knowledge, understanding, investigation and research and their aims will also include their aims for their action. They must definitely keep a, a plan and a week by week diary and include this as well so that the examiner can see how they planned ahead. You know, week one I plan to, you know, do a little bit of research in the media. Week two I plan to do my research online. Here are my key questions. Week three, I plan to email the principal to ask permission, you know, to hold a cake sale so that there is a clear plan and they keep a diary of what they did every week as well. It's really, really important that they look at their issue from a local level, a national level and a global level so that we can see that this is an issue that um, is of concern on local, national or global levels as well. And they can put in a little bit of information about the issue on, on those levels as well, but definitely two of them. Um, their research. Please ensure that research is focused, you know, that they have those key questions and that they're not just copying and pasting, 
uh, large amounts of information from the internet, okay? And it's not just the internet that they're relying on as well for their information. So of course they can use the internet, they can also go and, and they can get leaflets maybe from their local doctor's office or their local hospital, HSC centre, if you know that fits in with their project, their local library. Um, they can also you know, look in newspapers for information and they can carry out questionnaires and surveys and interviews as well to get that primary information, which is very, very useful as well. So to make sure that they don't limit their research and that they also are very focused in their research as well. Their action report is very important. What have they chosen to do for their action? Why have they chosen this? Who is the target audience and what do they hope to achieve? And when they carry out their action, that they evaluate it as well. To include what skills that they used um, throughout the whole task, the research skills, the organisational skills, um, the communication skills, all of those things. A summary and analysis of findings is very important. What have they found out about their issue? What are their findings? What do they now know? What are the key facts and the key areas around the issue? Self-evaluation is really important. How did my research go? How did my action go? How well did I do? What did I learn about myself for the future? How will this task help me in the future? So you might talk about your communication skills and how you might use them in a job in the future, your research skills and so on. Courses that helped me, really important in NCA of course to be cross-curricular. Um, so if there's any way you can link in with another subject, as I said, if they're writing letters, you could link in with English and communication. When they're typing up their task, when they're making surveys, creating the bar charts and so on, they can link in with their IT teacher. They can link in with their art teacher for making posters. They could link in with their hotel and catering teacher for baking the cakes for the cake sale or the tea and coffee morning. And the little thank yous at the end is a nice touch. So the overall layout and presentation of the task is very important as well. So include the images you know, make sure there's page numbers, that the layout is very clear and it's easy to follow. Examples of good practice. A clear, focused and achievable aim or aims. Really important. Not too many aims, um, but to, that their aims are very, very clear and very, very focused and that there are, there are things that they can achieve throughout this task. That the topic has been selected personally by the candidate. It is really important that the candidate is invested in, in the topic, that they're interested in it, you know, that they really do want to see um, some sort of a change, you know, they want to raise awareness around the topic. In group tasks, as I said already, it is really important that the individual has a clearly defined personal role, that all students going into the task interviews are not saying that they did the same thing that everybody has a clear set role within the task. That a range of skills are evident. The research skills, the letter writing skills, the presentation skills, the IT skills. That they're using a range of skills that is not narrow, that it's very wide. Focused internet research. You know, not downloading, copying and pasting large amounts of information from the internet. There are lots of different ways to research, not just using the internet. And to make sure that they, if they are researching online, that they're very focused, that they're taking down things in their own words, um, and that, you know, as I said, that their research is focused. That findings are summarised and, and analysed. That if you have findings, you know, and you will have findings following on from your research of key things you found out about the issue or the topic, that you analyse those. What are they telling you? You know, is mental health an area of concern for young people today? What are the key things you found out? Is alcohol addiction a big issue? What are the key things you found out? And you're analysing that information and that data. That your action was designed to affect the issue in a clear way. Is it raising awareness? Is it improving the situation? Is it raising money? You know, that your action is very, very clear and that it's something that you can achieve. That's really, really important. And that it will make a difference in whatever small way that it can. Areas of weakness that have been identified within the contemporary issues task are not being prepared for the oral presentation. 
It's really, really important that students practice this. And this is why I said previously, it's really good if the task report can be written up and ready before the Christmas holidays. And so when you come back in January, time can be spent getting ready for that presentation, that students get their PowerPoint ready or their little speech cards ready um, so that they have time to practice what they're going to say. They'll be timed. So it's two minutes to four minutes. The eye contact is really important. You know, those really important presentation skills. Another area of weakness that has been identified is limited research. Students only researching from the internet. Please try to broaden the different areas. And as I said, the primary research is really good as well. The surveys, the questionnaires, um, the interviews with key people. Issues were only examined at one level was another area of weakness. Just be aware of the fact that, you know, the issue that you have chosen is an issue at different levels, local, national or global. Definitely try to investigate the issue on two levels, be that national and global or local and global, but definitely on two levels. Research methods are not adequately explained. That research methods are adequately explained. So if they're researching online, that the outline in their task report, step by step, how they carried out that research online. And I suppose to imagine that they're explaining it to somebody that hasn't maybe researched anything online before. OK, so you're going into Google and you're typing in your question, your focused question, your keyword, and then you're looking through the different websites that come up and you're taking notes, you're typing into Microsoft Word, whatever it is, of the key points. OK. Um, if you carried out a survey, how did you do that? OK. Um, did you use um, a particular online tool to create your survey? How did you decide what questions to ask? Um, how did you distribute the surveys and how did you calculate the results afterwards? Self-reflection was weak or absent was another um, area of weakness within the task. So just be aware that self-reflection is a very important section that the examiner will be looking for. That we really do reflect on how everything went. You know, what went well? What didn't go well and why? What would you change if you were doing the task again? Um, you know, and how will this task help you in the future is very important um, to include that as well. Poorly structured report. You know, the report is not easy to follow. There's no contents page. There's no order to the report. You know, the examiner is finding it very hard to find things that they want in the report. Make sure things have headings, that things are laid out really well. The contents page at the front is a really handy way as well of the examiner being able to find what they need. And I think there's just one little area I missed there. Actions not valid or given very little weight in the report. Please remember that the action is a big part of the contemporary issues task. That it's given equal weight in your report to the research and investigation into the issue. Make sure that your action is a valid action. What does that mean? That your action has been thought through. That you're very clear what it is you want to achieve with your action. Do you want to raise awareness? Do you want to raise funds for a particular organisation? Um, you know, that you're very clear about what it is you want to achieve and who you want to achieve it with. Who is your target audience? So think it through really carefully beforehand and make sure when you're writing up your task report that you include all of those things in it and give equal weight to the action with the research. OK, so I hope that has been of some help. Um, there's lots of information on the PDST website. There's also lots of information on our own website, the LCANA website as well. Um, please do click in there for any information. And um, I believe my contact details are there as well. So if you have any questions about the Contemporary Issues task, please do get in contact. Uh, thank you very much for listening. Best wishes with the task um, and with the year ahead. Goodbye.